And as we showed you just a few minutes ago, city crews were called to parts of Modesto for severe flooding on the road. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is live for us with what we're seeing out there right now. Carlos? Well, you know, just a few hours ago, this entire road was flooded. It's been raining on and off, and now that's left is the big puddle behind me that's blocking part of the sidewalk. James Anderson of the Christian Love Baptist Church was attending a meeting at the community center at Mellis Park when it started to storm. Well, we knew it was raining, but we didn't know it was this bad. The heavy rain caused flooding in several parts of Modesto. Streets like Robertson Road near Vernon Avenue became difficult for motorists. Reverend Anderson was even stranded for a short period of time. I can't get in on the, dry, on the passenger side because when the cars are going up, they're trying to make it a game out of it for someone. They're not flooding and all the water comes, come, comes to the sidewalk. And by the time I get ready to get into the car, someone will come and cause the water to come up to the sidewalk and I'll get all wet. At one point, a long stretch of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Drive here in Modesto was covered up with eight inches of water. The storm kept city crews busy as trucks vacuum water in several trouble spots. Well, we work all year long trying to prepare and make sure that the, the, that the system is, is up to speed, um, that, you know, that is, we're prepared for any type of a storm event like this. Uh, but when it really starts coming down hard, it, there's really not a lot we can do it at that moment. The Mellis Park area is where the city's storm system ends. Officials say it usually backs up the worst during very intense storms. Just ask resident David Grace, who lives along King Drive. From this corner all the way to Vine, this is every, every big flood, that's what it is. I don't, maybe it's just uh, the drains over here that don't really... Uh, drain right, but it's just kill out the lakes right here in this area. Now, there are two schools in this neighborhood, and city crews work very hard to clear the roads just as students were getting out of class today. Carlos Correa live in Modesto. Carlos, thanks. You know,